Diabetes Digital Coach is a programme, at the moment it's a project, it's about making it easier for people with diabetes to self-manage their condition. So we've brought together some key partners who've got tools for self-management of diabetes and we're seeing how they work together and how they then get used within a health service setting, how citizens themselves want to use it um, so that they can improve their health and keep themselves healthier for longer. We know across our, our patch, which um, is the west of England, um, that we've got um, 120,000 people with um, type 1 and type 2 diabetes, or type 1 or type 2 diabetes, and uh, we want to actually work with about 10% of those, so we're looking to recruit 12,000 people. Diabetes is the leading cause of many, many health issues. And we know that if you manage those, your risk of complications are less. So there's two aspects. One is quality of life, and the other one is NHS um, spending on health. I've lived with type one for 55 years, since 1961. It involves making decisions daily about your food you take, the amount of insulin you inject, um, balancing with the exercise. You aim to keep your blood glucose levels within a, a range that's set between yourself and your, in my case, my consultant. Um, so it's like walking a tightrope. So you're constantly juggling between blood tests, insulin injections, um, and making these decisions about how much you need. So we've talked a lot to people with diabetes, and in fact they've helped us um, sort of shape this vision. Our vision really is about making it easier for people with diabetes to manage their condition in a way that suits them. So people have got busy lives, you've got to manage the condition 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but you've got to live your life and go to work, travel, look after your family, do all the sorts of things that you know we all need to do. And it's about making it easier for people to do that in a timely way. Digital is the right word because we've got um, a number of um, platform developers who we're working with who've got apps, who already got these products on the market and we're getting them to work together and begin to use that data and bring in data from other sensors and wearables and see how we can feed that back in real time to people with diabetes and also if it's appropriate to healthcare professionals as well. What you need to know is as much information as possible to maintain that balance and what the coach will do will provide the digital um, uh, technologies to enable you to see exactly what's happening um, so you can take action so hopefully 10 years down the line the number of complications will reduce I mean that's the big vision and, and save the health service billions yeah. from a user's perspective um, you will initially have be using an, an app that helps you um, to track and manage your condition. You've then got control of where you send that data, so you can look at it yourself, you can pick up some of the trends yourself, you can share that information. So it's all about not one size fitting all, but giving people choices to be able to manage their diabetes in the, in the way that suits them and what they need to do. But the potential for that to for her to have your data go to, in my case, my consultant, who can see it on the screen and can either email me um, if she can spot a pattern or something. Um, that is really exciting and that's what this programme is aiming to do. Issues of um, uh, security, of course, come into that. And again, um, I'm not uh, expert enough to speak about that, but I believe they're looking at the highest quality data protection these new services, this new way of working is going to mean that we can deliver what we need to do in a more efficient way. So if we, we prove that this model uh, works well in diabetes, then it's the sort of model that we can extend to other long-term conditions. So we see that being quite big. The aim would be that people will be self-managing, living normal lives, understanding their condition, and hopefully five, ten years down the line, uh, they'll still be fit and healthy without um, having to go blind or losing a limb or something. 
So uh, it's, a, it's a huge challenge, but one I think that's quite exciting.